and welcome back to Ixion. Now, the last time when I recorded, I was a bit confused about what I uh, had to do, because I uh, am also playing on another uh, save game. But I had the sensible idea to actually write down notes when I was done with that episode, so that I didn't end up in the same uh, position as I did back then. So, I actually have a plan this time. And uh, let's just see here. Um, sector 1. There is a carbon stockpile that is powered off, that I have to power on. In sector 6, I need to... Now this is sector 2. Sector 6 is over here. I need to move stockpiles above... Yeah, I wanted to move these down here. Actually, this sector is going to be completely refurbished. And I think I'm going to only have one space dock here because I have a plan for this sector. So, but we'll get back to that because I need the EVA uh, for now. Uh, then I have to check on the workers. Yep, we need to move a couple of workers over to uh, sector 6. So from sector 1 to sector 6, only workers, 20, start migration. And then we have to also have a look at the miners and haulers. Mm. Not sure about this. I th think I should set this one to prioritize carbon so that we mine some carbon as well. And out here, I think there are some more... Um, well, I don't think there are. I know there are more points of interest uh, and mine locations that we definitely want to uh, pick up, but not just yet. So what we'll do currently is just turn on the uh, speed of the game again. Uh, how is our sector balanced now? I am requesting 160, 160, and this sector should be producing, right? Yeah, it is currently producing. So one thing that I think I have to do in this sector is actually... Um, I did talk about it in the previous episode. I need to get up another steel mill. Because I definitely need more alloy production. And this sector also needs to be seriously changed up. But not yet. Let's go into the technologies. I have confirmed that, uh, even though I don't know how it functioned on my other save, they must have patched it or something, because I I had Domotic Quarter unlocked before uh, I had uh, these complete. researched. I, I have no idea. You have to research. I have to research these four before I can uh, get the Domotic Quarter and the, also the other uh, researches that uh, need. Um, yeah. Tier 3. Uh, let's get the Legislative Strengthening Center. This one is actually quite good. And we'll get the Waste Treatment Center next. We are building the EVA airlock. That's good. Uh, we can dismantle that one. I don't think there's anything else we need here currently. We have eight homeless, but that's not a problem for the time being. So I think we'll uh, just live with that. I'm not sure I want to construct this EVA airlock, to be honest. We don't need it, currently. Um, dismantle. Dismantle. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, we have a science team completed a task on... where? Mac R. I need to uh, have a look at my notes. 
Oh, and for those of you who are still following the game and not um, necessarily playing yourself, um, I can say that the story gets really like I have, I've I've already enjoyed the story extensively up until this point, but as we left this chapter and entered the next one, the people who wrote the story here, I hope they end up writing books or even TV shows because this story is so far so mind-blowing that it's up there together with The Expanse, uh, Battlestar Galactica, uh, Snowpiercer, uh, Frostpunk storyline. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really good story. Summary of Intelligence on Mac R. All usable components from the wreckage have been conditioned and prepared for, the, for extraction. The Maxwell's team was able to recover data that revealed the cause of the science ship's crash. Named the Ammer Place, this ship belonged to the second generation Taurus class superstructure called the Protagoras. Following some sort of attack by the Etemenanki, a UN ship, the Ammer Place attempted an emergency landing on Mac R. Coming in too fast, it was almost completely vaporized on impact. The crew manifest has been recovered. 45 polymer and 45 science. In addition, we get high quality lubricants upgrade unlocked for workshop. That's nice. I don't think that means we have it uh, automatically um, researched. Let's go uh, have a peek. We need to uh, gather up the science here. Yeah? We, uh, we got it unlocked so that we can research it. Incoming transmission, huh? Administrator, we have collected and analyzed enough data to locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map via probe scan. Well, thank you, Eden. Now, I just want to check very quickly whether I am now allowed to... Nope, that does not unlock tier 3. Let's see at the start of cycle 356. Space and the docking bay here. Nope, I don't know. It must have been some rebalancing that has happened. Has occurred in the typhoon. Oh, of course. Mm. Oh, I also discovered something that you, if you have a, an infirmary that has people and you want to move those people, just power it down and they automatically jump over to another. Uh, I don't know what happened when I uh, dis uh, dismantled one of the infirmaries earlier on in this series, but. It shouldn't have happened. It might have been a, a glitch or a bug that I had at the time being. I'm not sure. We are producing electronics, but we're not connected to an active stockpile has completed its because game. of the accident. Yeah, probe. Good. Probe is nice. Uh, so... The Protagoras should be around here somewhere. It's up there. Okay. We're also going to stay in this chapter for a while. Uh, just so you guys are aware. I need to build up a lot of resources, stock, and... There is ample things we need to do in this chapter before we leave here. Maxwell, you can now go to, let's see, Valiant 71? Yeah. Okay, now there is some carbon that we can pick up there. Uh, have I set any of my ships to pick up carbon? Yeah, I have. I've even set up the relevant ones. I'm producing a lot of alloys in here now, actually. 
This sector also needs a complete and total uh, revamp. Yeah, there's so much I have to redo. Another stockpile accident, of course. Not a critical one. Seems to be something with electronics today. Uh, we can remove this. I also need to move that uh, temporarily because the road is in the wrong location. Okay, not sure why I made that sound with my throat, but okay. A side ship has arrived at its destination. I can use speed up a little bit later, so uh, at some point. We, uh, we will be using uh, higher speeds, but currently I need to just let things progress slowly. Summary of intelligence on Valiant 71 scans. The planet Valiant is dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship in orbit of the planet. Transmission from the Maxwell's team. The wreck of the UN warship Huizinga orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down Dolos survivors, it fell to something even more dangerous than itself. We have visual on a cluster of UN emergency cryopods drifting towards Valiant 71. If we don't intervene, they will enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. Um... I think... I don't care that much about the cryopods here. So I'm going to go and uh, analyze the wreck. Because why do you care about UN people? <laughs> uh, the team of the Maxwell will study the Huizinga to gain a better understanding of UN ship capabilities. Why am I picking up a point of interest here? Oh, because I haven't. That's why. Okay, we should start looking for ice. Carbon. I drowned in carbon the last time I was there, and I couldn't use it for anything. Uh, I was like, what the heck am I going to use all this carbon for? Okay, there is a major iron deposit there. I have a notification on here. It's probably because I have that one. Okay, so let's build... We have that in stock. We have that in stock. I, well, I can't build here. That's a little bit of an un, unfortunate thing. Um, Bardish... Build a new mining ship. Assign the Bardish to this one. And we go in here and we remap this to prioritize mining ice with iron as the lowest priority and silicon as the medium priority. We don't need hydro hydro hydrogen currently, so that's fine. We can also assign the Mimis Brunner. I am not very good at Icelandic. And the Mimis Brunner will be responsible for uh, carrying ice. Currently, though, it will not be responsible for doing anything. Because I don't want to have to deal with uh, transferring stuff. Oh! I had alloys and uh, food in that ship. Max 
that's weird. Why did I have alloys and food in that ship? We can now build the Legislative Strengthening Center. Let's uh, continue some research here. Uh, we do want the Waste Treatment Center. That's 60 research. Oh, crying out loud. Um, yeah, let's build another optimized quarters temporarily. It's not where I want them. But it'll be fine. So much stuff to do. Okay. I vaguely rem Yeah. I knew that I had a point here where I could get all four of them. Ship team has completed a task. Summary of intelligence on the Huizinga. The Huizinga's hull has been punctured by the many small telluric objects, or telluric objects, that orbit at high speed around Valiant 71. However, some of the hull punctures cannot be ascribed to this alone. Though mostly destroyed, the technologies on board are significantly more advanced compared to those of the Tycoon. The team's mission and reports will provide useful data and support our own ongoing research and development initiatives. 15 science and we get the Firestarter upgrade unlocked for the workshop. Let's leave the planet and collect the science. Now this road should be here. Our constructor is busy though. Oh, in the alternative life center, that's not good. This one needs more space for polymer. Can we build more um Solar probe has completed its scan. Yes, we can. I also have hull repair enabled when I really shouldn't have it enabled. Remove that. And... Interesting. We can have another... I actually built this in the wrong location. Not that it's a... Uh major disaster or anything, but it was supposed to be one step over. But instead I'll just have uh, some space behind here. I'll just leave it where it is. Uh, maintenance, stockpile small. We'll build two of them here. So I don't think we need two stockpiles for uh, cryo uh, pods. Happy New Year, Administrator. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Happy New Year. Almost in real life as well. 
Uh, let's go to... There's actually just one left place left to go to, and that is the uh, Rokotansky D-79, so we'll go there. No point in going to the Protagoras yet, and Deville 59 requires columnists. Carbon, but there's iron in here as well, and silicon. And I can get both of them. There's still surplus in food, which is good. Now, I can build a fusion station. So I'll put that here, but pause the construction immediately. And then food, we do want to put down three insect farms here, I think. can pause these as well and then we'll have a road going down all the way to the bottom and I'm not entirely sure how far up should be to here I think that might not be let me just count here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so it is up to here. That's correct. And that road should go all the way over there. And then all the way down. And all the way there. And all the way over here. Now, while we're doing this, I might as well build another workshop. Uh, we can build that here. And high priority. Let's also launch another probe. Lots of ice up there, good. We also want a road to go all the way like that. down these because I have no specific need for them currently. We want to build an optimized quarter there. And there, I think. Then we can have a road going across like that. And down there, and down there. And you're starting to see the outlines of how I want this sector to look now. Waste treatment center is done. Good. Uh, now it doesn't really matter which one we do. I do want tier 3 unlocked, so let's just get the fire station. The cataphract is done, and the cataphract should be probe has completed its here. Scale. Not that it matters that much how I set up the mining ships. Let's prioritize silicon, water, and iron. And the solar panel seems to be done. Good. We are repairing our hull. And currently, Two EVA airlocks seem to be enough. Did I build... No, I don't have any propaganda in here yet, nor do I have in this sector. We 
can build a waste manage or waste treatment center, but it's kind of a new request awaits your attention. Kind of useless without the DLS center. Administrator, despite its high protein content, insect based food is still tainted by pre prejudicial feelings of I mean I know prejudice, but prejud prejudicial feelings of disgust. Uh, complaints about the food source are increasing. A diverse diet is a necessary ingredient for social peace. Let's pledge to construct a new source of food within 30 cycles. That's not going to... Effective <laughs> debugging. Ah, uh, the pun. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, we can actually get around to doing that right away. Have we... No, we haven't. Uh, so Mimis Brunner, you can go out and start to collect ice. We still have enough workers, but this thing requires 10 workers, so I'm going to have to transfer more workers, and we have ample, popul ample population. Any crew? No. Workers 30 to Sector 6. Then food. Crop farm. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Dismantle that one. A probe has completed its scan. Oh, yeah, probes. Uh huh. She even told me. More iron? Good. Population transfer complete. Good. A science ship has arrived at its destination. This one is weird. This one is one of the weirdest events that I've found in the game so far. So, Rokotansky. Our probe has detected an unusual electromagnetic signal on the comet Rokotansky D79. Transmission from the Maxwell's team. Maxwell team reporting. We have landed on Rokotansky D79. The icy comet is barren, but its rotation causes shadows to dance across its surface quite beautifully. Flurries of snow move erratically around the comet, perhaps because of the abnormally high gravity. The signal appears to be transmitting from a cave. A glacial mass blocks its entrance. We await further instructions. And we are going to take the um, established infrastructure. Um, but I need to uh, see what ship I'm going to use for that. Let's see here. Uh, fleet. The cornucopia. That's going to take a while. How are we for, for iron? We have plenty of iron in that sector. We're not lacking in alloys at all, which is good. And we also have a lot of spare iron in here, so that's actually going to be perfectly fine. We have nearly 200 iron in this. Oh, we have Actually, we have more than 200 iron here because of this. So that was a, a very good choice there. Here we have 500 iron. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, maybe, uh... Not transport silicon into this sector. Okay, uh, I'm going to move one of these. Number five. You are going to be assigned 
issue. No, I can't assign you here. Or I can. I can do that. Number five. Then I can assign the Maxwell like that. And we can assign number five like that. Did that cancel the event up there? No. Good. Now, I also... Actually, this is a bad location for that. Or maybe not. Maybe this one is actually a good location for it, now that I look at it. This should be... Oh. The water is stored in that one, silly Caledon. What did I want to tear down? I wanted to tear down this one. And that one, but I can't tear down that one just yet. We have too much alloys in the uh, station or in the sector. As for the resource management, we should make sure that that is. An yep. accident has occurred in the tycoon. An insect farm in Sector 2 has been disabled due to an accident. Yes, yes. I probably need more um, infirmaries in every sector as our population grows. Oh, it's 828 already. Wow. You might remember me being worried about... Things like population and uh, our progress and stuff like that. I am no longer worried. A probe has completed its scan. We are going to have ample population. Turn this one on. We need more workers again. this one on. Well, we actually fulfilled the uh, mission the moment we built this one. Turn it off again because we need water. Let's stock up some water before we uh, activate that one. I want to build another cargo vessel, so triceps, go here, and let's build another cargo ship. Population transfer complete. Good. Now we can uh, power this thing up. So each field will take uh, four workers. Actually, I don't want to power it up just yet. Uh, I want to stock up my water first. Are we getting alloys over here or something?
Okay, now what I want to do is build a mess hall here. A probe has completed its scan. Good. We want to continue to map things up here. Thing. Oh, there we go. Come on, I had all three of you. Oh, for crying out loud. There, thank you. can uh, dismantle this now, resume this one. Battery power, eh, it's not ideal, we want more battery power. We are in a meal cycle. Never deconstruct one of these when you are in a meal cycle, that's a very bad idea. I learned that the hard way. Now you can deconstruct it. Food, no population, infirmary. We start balancing the electronics as well, but I think we have a new probe to launch first. And then electronics. So sector one, electronics, keep at zero. Sector two, electronics keep at zero. Sector six electronics, keep at zero. Now, we want four electronics in sector one, four electronics in sector two, and four electronics in sector six. And sector two will be producing electronics, so it will be uh, distributing it to the other sectors now. far have we come on this? An accident has occurred in the tide. 17. Good. 20. Oh, it's a steel mill. Crap. Sector 1. We have one five person injured. I need to build uh, an infirmary stat. And power this off. I can't. While well, it's being repaired, but. Now we need more carbon. Uh, I'm going to have only this one accept carbon. So shut that off. Shot that off. Pelican and Sampo. Pelican. 
you can go collect that and then that. A probe has completed its scan. Good. I start to think we have located most of the resources in the sector. Carbon isn't that important, but iron is. Let's go there. Good, we have everyone uh, hospitalized. We can uh, shut off this one currently. We need more carbon to come in first. Troy, are you taking in iron? You are. I'm kind of worried about the um, situation with these stockpiles being so full. can research but kind of difficult when we have zero science a probe has completed its scan stockpile medium requires tier 3 so we need 80 no 60 science Dismantle and dismantle. Food is now above average, which is good. And I think we have enough water to power this thing up now. We want those in the other one, so let's power that down, and they should, yep, good. And now we can uh, dismantle it. That's eight workers. We can build two more fields for those eight workers. else left is the point of interest behind there we're going to take that but i want to uh, find everything i can find of interest like there is carbon down here but that isn't of interest but i thought there was more up here apparently i was wrong Gradually moving around here. It's only this carbon. There's nothing inside of the storm, is there? Oh, yes, there is. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. There is a huge deposit of silicon, carbon, and iron behind there. But I'm not going to bother with that. 
silicon might be interesting to bother with, but I'm going to have to put them on a void. We are actually going to move the entire tycoon over there, eventually. And yes, we are at the time, but I just want this event to finish before we end the episode. I feel we've been quite productive in this episode. There is a lot of mining nodes we have. Uh, I've built up the, uh, the new sector rather nicely so far. And the final thing we are going to build here currently is a DLS center. Uh, and I need to remove some of that road for that. Like so. And then stability, DLS center, there. And we have completed the task at Rokotansky. With the extra resources available to us, we were able to get through the ice. The cave extends deep into the comet, and gravity is even stronger within it than on the surface. Sending remote-controlled recording equipment ahead, we discovered an almost completely enclosed cavity at the cave's end, at the center of the comet. Within the cavity is a floating grey sphere, five meters in diameter. It has no discernible power source, but it does possess a strong electromagnetic field and emits a faint bluish glow. When we attempted to move the remote instrumentation closer, the sphere swallowed it, its surface becoming almost almost viscous. Yeah, that looks promising. We get 45 science, and we get the post-decryonization treatment upgrade unlocked for the cryonic center. That's a mouthful. Uh, we are not going to descend and study the sphere, because that's going to end up with every single crew member dead. We are, however, going to leave, which will take one cycle, interestingly enough. And I am actually going to uh, run that, let that event run its course. How are we for workers here now? 101 of 103 in here. We have... I don't feel like I want to send workers over there just now. We can, however, turn off the cryonic center. And this facility requires 15 workers as well. Okay, we can send over a couple more workers then. Sector 1 to sector 6. 10 only workers. Start migration. Number 5. Uh, I want you to prioritize silicon and iron. I actually want to turn that off. I also want food to come in. No, actually, I want food to come in here. Client security protocols indicate that the crew on board the Maxwell is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation via the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears that these new crew members are indeed human and possess a good knowledge of Dolo's protocol and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they have always worked on the Tycoon, but their biometric data does not match with any crew register records. I have no idea what this leads to. We can either remotely initiate the Maxwell's self-destruct sequence, which does exactly what you expect it does. It kills all the crew members and it destroys the ship. Or we can override Eden with the Naomi protocol and update the Tycoon's crew manifest to include the new biometric data. And I'm going to go with this one, because I don't want to lose a ship or five crew members, so... The Tycoon's crew manifest will be updated to account for what must be a database bug. Five crew members renamed. Clara Kavanagh's new identity is now Sleglinde Hagenauer. Lorelei Vladner's new identity is now Lorelei Wiesemann. Tonjona Ramanalachona's new identity is now Kaspar Haptmann. Aaron Torgman's new identity is now Edmund Schreiber. Noan Drucker's new identity is now Alois Alderman. 
and we can collect the science. And on that note, I think that's a good spot to end this episode. So that's exactly what we'll do. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you're enjoying how the events unfold and seeing me struggle with uh, building stuff on board the Tycoon. If you have any questions or comments, then please do feel free to leave those in the comment section. If not, then of course a little emoji or something would be very welcome if you want to help out with the channel algorithm. For now, I hope that I will see you again in the next one.